it, my ladies of Bella Grind. Hope you ladies are doing well today. I am Jerry Benjamin, and we are here to do a fitness workout to fit your knees, all right? So let's get into it. All right, so today we're gonna do some reverse lunges. Now, when we talk about doing lunges, we wanna make sure our form is right so we can get the best benefit out of the workout, which is the plane is in our way. So we're gonna keep it going. Shoot, shoot. All right, so what we're gonna do is proper form for the reverse lunge because we wanna work our glutes as well as our quads, right? But make it to perfect. Yeah, get it together. To maintain proper form, you want to make sure that your hips stay square, right? Your foot is stepped back, and I'll go from the side. Hips are tucked under, shoulders are back, right? And then when you go down, you want to make sure you're at a 90 degree angle. Your knee is in line with the ankle, and this knee is straight down to the floor, shoulders back, all right? So we're going to take that as alternating lunges, right? Stepping back. Here we go. Starting on the right first, we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, hips under, six, shoulders back, seven, eight, woo, nine, ten, other side, we step back, one, and two, woo, and three, woo, three, woo, and four, and five, come on. Six, four more. Seven, two more. Eight, two more, four. Nine, and 10. Good job. All right, so every time you do that exercise, again, make sure belly button's in, hips are under, shoulders are back. That is. So another way to modify this lunge exercise is to actually hold on to something, or if you have a ball at home, you can put the ball against the wall and just lean back against the ball, place your foot back and just gently go down, right? So the other thing is if you have just a wall you wanna hold on to or a rail such as this, you can do that. Hold on to the rail, step the foot back. You don't have to do alternating. You can just plant the foot back. Again, hips under, shoulders back, and just go down. And down, and down. Be aware of your core, up, mid down, down, all right? Simple as that, and switch it off. So that's the modified. All right, y'all, so we're back. I'm about to do, show you how to do a proper squat shoulder press, all right? With the squat shoulder press, we are working, of course, we're working our quads, we're working our glutes, we're working our shoulders, all right? So, just proper form in any exercise that you do in order to get the best benefits of the movement, right? So, when we do our squat, we wanna make sure that our feet are shoulder width apart, our shoulders are back. When you go into your squat, make sure you are sitting in your heels and you, it, you take those knees out as you go down. So, never squat like that, right? When you squat, take those knees out. Think of sitting in a child's chair and come up, all right? So in this movement, we are going to squat, shoulder press, squat, shoulder press, squat, shoulder press, squat, shoulder press, all right? We're doing 10 of those, 10 of those. Again, belly butt in, hips are under, feet shoulder width apart, sit in your heels, take it down, press it up. Here we go, ready? And 10, let's go. Down, press it up. Squeeze this down, press it up. Squeeze this down, and up. Down, that's number four. Five, up, six, press it up. Seven, press it up. Eight, press it up. Nine, press it up. And in. All right, great job so far, ladies. We are going to get into some ab work, our core, which consists of our abdominals, our back, our quads, and our upper body, shoulder, chest, and all. So in order to work all those things at the same time, we are going to do what we call a plank. I'm sure you all have heard of the plank, and maybe you've tried it and it's defeated you, <laughs> but it is very important. Once you get this strengthen your core, then you have less chances of falling, right? If your core is tight and it's strong, then you have better posture. So we, all, we always want to continuously work on it. So even if you start at holding your plank for 10 seconds, 
all the way up to a minute. It's a progression. So just try it, keep working up. Again, the benefit of is tightening your core. You have better posture and prevents falls, right? All right, so let's get into how to properly do, how to properly do a plank, right? Um, you wanna make sure when you're starting off, you can keep your knees down, your elbows down, but you wanna make sure that your belly button is always pulled in. So you won't see it hanging. You don't wanna see any hips up. You wanna pull that belly button into the spine, take those hips down. And we are here for a basic plank, all right? A basic plank. Hold it here. Now, if you want more of a little challenge, you can go ahead and lift those knees up off of the floor and hold. Again, you don't want to see this. You want to pull that belly button in, hips down, and you hold it here. And this is where it gets a little tight, y'all. Get a little tight. You start shivering. You want to give her. But no. No. Say you got to go. You got you to challenge yourself. So stay here. If you want more of a challenge, feel free to go ahead and come on up and hold it here. Again, hips are not here. They are down. Engage that core, shoulders back, and you hold it here. So these are the three progressions of it. Again, knees down, elbows down, start here, up to the next level, here, and then that's when you at that, that premier level. All right? So work on it, ladies. I'll meet you here. All right. So this is your basic start for your pain. Progression one. So you're here. Abs are engaged. Belly button into the spine. Hips are down under. So we start here. Right? Now, the next progression would be to go ahead and curl the toes under. Lift the hips up. Again, belly button in. And you're here. So our goal is to get to 30 seconds, being able to stay here in 30 seconds each progression. Then your last and final progression here. Again, hips are not up, they are down, abs engaged, belly button in. Put the head in neutral spot. All right, hope you got it.